today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Java project using Visual Studio Code. Um, there's about 400 ways you can do this, um, I'm going to do it in a way that's going to make it easiest for you to organize your files later on. So the first thing you want to make sure you have is you have a folder somewhere that you can hold this your Java in. So you notice I have a Java folder here. You notice I have 20 other pro folders here too. But have yourself a folder where you're putting everything. Um, I'd recommend not using a folder that's controlled by Google Drive or OneDrive. Um, sometimes these online cloud services, the back of your files, mess with your code and do some damage. On Windows, you're given a source folder. That's a really good place to put it. If you want to protect it, use GitHub or something to that effect to protect your code. I'll do that in a different video. Alright, so I'm in Visual Studio Code. Again, there's about 20 ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to start by hitting Control Shift P. In Mac, it's Command Shift P. So I'm inside of Visual Studio Code. I'm going to Control Shift P. And a lot of things pop up here. You're going to find Java Create Java Project. If it's not there, just type it. If it's still not there, then you need to go back and install the Java Project extensions based on the, the Visual Studio Code Java page. Uh, so I'm going to do Create Java Project. Um, all of these are awesome for a simple Java 1 class. You need no build tools. As you get better with Java, use Maven, Gradle, Spring Boot, depending on what you need. Uh, for now, I'm going to do no build tools. I'm going to go find my folder. I'm going to put it in my videos folder. It's going to want a name. Um, I, I suggest write, naming these based on the chapter of your book. So we'll say we're in chapter 1, exercise 9, as an example. It's a great way to name these. That way you know what they are, and I know what they are, or whoever your instructor is when you go to look at these. Press enter. It's going to create a folder structure for you. Give it a minute to do its job. It tells you where it's at. You open here up in your source, you have an app.java. Um, if you don't like app.java, you can rename that. Notice the file changes. We have public class app. I don't like that. Java doesn't like that either. It's better to keep those consistent. I'm hitting control S to save it. You know when it needs saved because you have a little dot up here. So when you do that, build project gives you everything you need. Um, you can get rid of throws exception if you want because you, you're going to learn how to handle that later or you can keep it. Um, public static void main. Static means one inst one version of this main is instantiated. String box R accepts stuff from the command prompts. This will print hello world out. Now when you go to run this, best practice hit the drop and pick run Java. You might be tempted to just hit the triangle but I've seen it break. So I'm going to hit run Java. Give it a moment. It chugs, voila, whatever's here, displays out here. Now, a little bit about what you're seeing on my screen, this X here, this is a helper from Java and Visual Studio Code that's simply telling you to want something in there. All right, so you've seen how to build a project. Um, you've seen how to save it. Um, awesome. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching.